What's good YouTube? We are back with another video on the channel. And this one is going to be a special video because it's my first ever mukbang. This is I don't have that much to eat. It's it's just a simple breakfast dish. And by the title of this video, you'll see what the theme of this dish is. So we have the flag in the back here, Trinidad and Tobago. I don't want to touch it because I don't want to dirty my hands. Well, I'll dirty my left hand, but not my right hand because this is the hand I'm going to be eating with. That's how I do it. And this is what we have to eat right here. So we have baked and saltfish, right? And that is a Trinidadian breakfast dish. Now, you could tell since I'm doing this that I'm Trinidadian, but I wasn't born in Trinidad. My grandparents are from Trinidad. So you wouldn't really hear the accent from me, but even though I wasn't born there, it's still in my DNA. And I have some tea. Also, I have a pastry, which is called currants roll, right? This is how it looks. See, this one is a small one. There's bigger ones, but this tastes really good. And if you're in New York, go to Allen's Bakery, right? And once you go there, you get currants roll and bacon saltfish. And it's going to be one of the best things you've ever tried. And I do have stuff to drink. Have some tea. Hopefully I don't spill it. See? Lipton tea. Alright, let me put it back down. Now, with this mukbang, I will be reacting to the history of Trinidad and Tobago. And this is four parts. And... It has more stuff, but I'll only be reacted to the four parts. Because I don't think I'm going to be eating for that many videos uh, to react to. So, let's begin. quality of this video is like, it's like a really old video. It's a really hot still. To aspire, to achieve, to live together in interracial unity, to live together in a democratic society. In all those things lies the true the significance of the words which adorn the coat of arms of my country, Trinidad and Tobago. A small country with less than one million people. These islands were discovered by the Genoese explorer Christopher Columbus in 1498 for these islands and their people the era of colonialism had begun and european civilization meant race extinction slavery pain in 1797 the british parliament and people had learnt that slavery was unprofitable unjust and inhumane but freedom did not come until 1833 for 165 years, Trinidad was under British rule. Land of the Hummingbird. The name given to Trinidad by its original inhabitants. Today, it is also known as Land of Calypso. Mm -hmm. I know some stuff, and I don't know everything. But I know um, bits and pieces. Port of Spain, that's the capital. That's where Here my is Port grandmother's Spain, from. Our capital and chief port. It is a bustling, fast expanding metropolis with a population nearing 100,000. The <coughs> old buildings are giving way to modern skyscrapers. 
One of these days I'm going to go. Yet old landmarks like this Roman Catholic cathedral would be here for many years to come. A silent reminder, perhaps, to our young architects that as they build, they must have a thought of tomorrow. Going south, we come to Pointe Pear, the heart of our oil industry, a modern refinery, refueling depot for ships, and expanding harbor at the crossroads of the Caribbean. Uh, look at the cars. The mainstays of our economy are agriculture and industry. And the most important agricultural product is sugar. Sugar cane. The sugar cane was introduced late in the 18th century. Over a period of 130 years, production of sugar has risen from 100 tons to 200,000 tons. In the beginning, African slaves provided the labor force. Came emancipation. African slave labor gave way to indentured labor from India. Slavery under a different name. Today, the descendants of the Indian immigrants form the bulk of the workers in the sugarcane fields. The old order changeth, yielding to new. Old methods have given way to new equipment, new processes to increase output and meet the stern challenge of foreign competition. Our sugar is shipped in bulk and the best buyer is Great Britain. The most important industry is oil production and refining. And Texaco's refinery Point of Pear, an expanding enterprise, is the second largest in the Commonwealth. Petroleum was discovered at La Brea, famous for its pitch lake, in 1857. In 1909, the quantity of crude oil exported was some 4,000 barrels. In the two world wars which followed, our oil industry was vital for Britain and her allies. At the moment, over 300,000 barrels of crude oil are processed daily. And to meet the needs of the Texaco and Shell refineries, crude oil is imported from the Middle East. Since 1961, a massive expansion program has resulted in construction of a lubricating oil plant as well as a cyclohexane plant. Indeed, the petroleum industry is the backbone of our economy. It is the greatest contributor to government revenue. Oil is this money. power station at Pinal and the old and new ones in Port of Spain are fueled with oil and gas from the oil fields. They supply all present needs, and their capacity is sufficient to meet expanding industrial needs for a long time to come. Citrus is one of the smaller industries. Yeah, that, that's the steel pan. Oranges and grapefruit from the sun-drenched fields are brought to the packing plant to be cleaned, graded, and selected for export. Only the best fruits and juices reach the markets of the Caribbean, the United Kingdom, and Europe. A good deep water harbor and adequate berthing facilities for ships are among the essentials for industrial expansion. There are some who still go down to the sea in schooners, some of which, no larger than the caravels of Columbus, play an important part in inter-island trade. But the bulk of our incoming and outgoing trade is handled by large ocean-going ships. Construction of a modern port began in 1935, and because of rapidly increasing trade, expansion and modernization are still continuing. Incentives have attracted an increasing volume of foreign investment.
This textile mill, for instance, supplies the home market and also exports to nearby lands. Our sunshine and our beaches attract visitors by the thousands every year. Many stay at our upside down hotel where there is a view of the city from every room. Upside down hotel? <laughs> this is the Hilton Hotel, which caters to the needs of the most discerning with its up-to-date facilities and it has won a name for good cuisine, good entertainment and above all, good service. There are beaches within easy reach of Port of Spain, while in Tobago, most of the hotels overlook beaches for which the island is famous. They are public beaches and are renowned for their safety. Trinidad and Tobago is Silver the land Park. of the Calypso, the land of the steel band, steel the land band. of the limbo. All originated here. Originated These there. and the folklore dance presentations limbo. add to the visitor's enjoyment. I only played limbo once. There are other traditions, and some of them are religious, like the Hussein festival of Islamic origin. It is marked by colorful processions, drum beating, and a ceremonial byplay. famous traditional festival is Carnival, mm -hmm. Carnival, celebrated annually on the two days before Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday. Originating in Spanish times, it has no resemblance to European or other carnivals. Among its distinguishing features are color, costume presentation and spontaneity, fired by it? our two unique art forms. This is really the good. The steel band and the calypso. And you see people on stilts. The stilts is like when they like to make them look taller. Smithsonian has ranked our carnival among the wonders of the world. Wonders of the world. Indeed, he says, the greatest wonder of them all is the Trinidad Carnival.
wonder if they still did wait if they'll do carnival next year because of corona but i don't know i don't keep that was with. a quick glimpse at our everyday life in trinidad Intense. and tobago but on the 31st of august 1962 there occurred the most significant event in our history the attainment of independence her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, came as the official representative of Her Majesty the Queen to the independence celebrations of Trinidad and Tobago. It was on a wet afternoon that the princess was welcomed by the Governor General, Sir Solomon Ho Choi, Which and princess? Lady Ho Choi, the Prime Minister and other dignitaries. The Trinidad and Tobago Regiment, land arm of our defense force, made its first public appearance, mounting the Royal Guard of Honor. After the inspection, the Prime Minister, Dr. Eric Williams, extended a welcome on behalf of the government, the parliament, and the people, who regarded Her Highness's visit on such an historic and auspicious occasion as a reflection of Her Majesty's esteem of our people. This is the last piece. The Princess replied that while this was not her first visit, she was most appreciative of the welcome extended to her. <laughs> then she was off to perform her first official engagement, the formal opening of the new multi-million dollar airport terminal building. If I ever met royalty, I would have to stand up. On the following day, Her Royal Highness, accompanied by the Governor General, the Prime Minister and the party, attends a mammoth youth rally at the Queen's Park Oval. This is indeed one of the highlights of the independence celebrations. Not even the inclement weather could dampen the enthusiasm of the many thousands of school children who have come from every quarter to give a rousing welcome to the distinguished visitor. The rally began with the parade of the many youth groups, Her Royal Highness taking the salute. It's all done. And I finished my tea too. So I'm just gonna relax and enjoy the rest of these videos. Later, one of the more interesting items on the program seems to capture the fancy of the princess. This is the Horopo, one of our traditional dances of Spanish origin.
now with the Bélé, which is of French origin. She was enjoying the music. I was about to say, why are they showing her feet? And she's tapping her feet because she's enjoying herself. Part three. Let's get the part. Never reminds me. Port of Spain's Red House has been the scene of many historic events. Under colonial rule, it was the seat of government for over 50 years. It was on the lawn before it that, at a few minutes to midnight on the 30th of August 1962, 1962. Her Royal Highness, as the representative of the Queen, witnessed the birth of our nation the 15th member of the Commonwealth. Representatives from over 50 nations were present when the Union Jack was lowered, marking the end of alien rule. Wow. Under the British, longer than America, because you know America fought back because of the distance and the allies able to win that struggle. Wait, no, no, no. That was for slavery. Oh. A momentous occasion. On the stroke of midnight, our own national flag, red, white, and black, rose gracefully to the top, marking the attainment of freedom. Independence. Heads of religious bodies offered prayers to God to guide the new nation faithfully in the paths of democracy and peace. There was rejoicing among the people gathered in the University of Woodford Square that freedom had come, that the soil which their ancestors from many lands and of diverse races had watered with their blood and sweat and tears had become their own to shape and to fashion. The rejoicing was marked by dignified restraint in keeping with the call to discipline by the Prime Minister, who in six brief years had led his people from colonialism to nationhood. Wow. People out the window, looking out the window. August 31st, 1962. 1962. And here in the Red House, all are gathered to witness the official ceremony. In the Red House. Marking the inauguration of the first parliament for independent Trinidad and Tobago. Uh. Her Royal Highness delivers the throne speech, then reads a personal message from Her Majesty the Queen. I have it in command from Her Majesty the Queen to read the following message to her Parliament 
and people of Trinidad and Tobago. I am very pleased that my aunt, the Princess Royal, is acting as my personal representative at the celebrations to commemorate the independence of is, your country. Is this the current? Queen? I know that she has greatly looked forward to paying a return visit is to it? Trinidad and Tobago and to being with you on this important occasion I think it in might your be. history. It is with every good wish for the future it really makes sense if that I extend the a warm current welcome queen. to Trinidad and Tobago right now. as a new member of the Commonwealth family I'm going to have to look it up. I do not doubt that your country, which has already shown yes, she, how people of many varied origins the and traditions queen may live harmoniously together, will, in spite of its small area, play a full part in promoting cooperation and mutual understanding in the world. I pray that God may bless and keep Trinidad and Tobago in all the years that lie ahead. Signed, Elizabeth Hall. Last part. No clapping? Her Royal Highness now hands over the constitutional instruments to the Prime Minister, who in turn replies. I guess that wasn't a time to clap. May it please your Royal Highness, it is with a feeling of deep pride, pleasure, and satisfaction, as Prime Minister of the newly independent state of Trinidad and Tobago, that I offer you for transmission to Her Majesty the Queen. The profound thanks and appreciation of the government, parliament, and people of this country for Her Majesty's gracious message. We have looked forward with considerable pleasure to our entry into the Commonwealth family. Now that this goal has been achieved, I ask you to convey to Her Majesty an expression of our unfailing loyalty and devotion to her throne and person. We have been inspired by her good wishes and we pledge ourselves to fulfill the promise expected of us, not only by Her Majesty, but by all the nations of the world, to show how our small community, with its people drawn from many lands of diverse racial origins and subscribing to a variety of religious Very diverse. beliefs, can, in harmonious cooperation, make its contribution to the sum total of world peace, world progress, and world happiness. May I conclude by expressing the hope that this visit of yours to our shores, which is not the first, will certainly not be the last, and that we shall have on some future occasion the opportunity to display once more the esteem and affection in which you are held by the people of Trinidad and Tobago, and to demonstrate to you the contributions which we have set out to make to world democracy and to the defense and protection of human freedom. What? The leader of the he opposition, talking Dr. Capildeo, now he was speaks. Still May it please when he was your Royal there. Highness to accept our sincerest thanks from this side of the house for the signal honor How does he you have so graciously <laughs> bestowed upon us by being present among us on this unforgettable occasion. I it wonder... is fitting that at this historic moment, independence is heralded with the adornment and luster of British parliamentary democracy, and that it is dedicated to the British parliamentary tradition. Every such dedication is a barrier which evil minds will have to surmount in order to advance into totalitarian paths. Nevertheless, we enter the future with high hopes and with unbounded confidence in ourselves, we and the other side of the house. The ceremony is ended. Parliament is inaugurated what and independent say? Trinidad and Tobago has become the 15th oh. member of the Commonwealth of Nations. I wonder how many people are what in What now are our responsibilities?
The first responsibility that devolves upon you is the protection and promotion of your democracy. Democracy, democracy means more, much more, than the right to vote, and one vote for every man and every woman of the prescribed age. Democracy means recognition of the rights of others. Democracy means the equality of all in the eyes of the law. Democracy means equality of opportunity for all in education, in the public service, and in private employment. I repeat, and in private employment. Democracy means responsibility of the government to its citizens, the protection of the citizens from the exercise of arbitrary power and the violation of human freedom and individual rights. Democracy means freedom of worship for all and the subordination of the rights of any one race to the overriding right of the human race. Democracy, Democracy means freedom of expression and assembly and organization. All that is democracy. All that is our democracy, to which I call upon all citizens to dedicate themselves on this our independence day. This is what I meant when I gave the nation as its slogan for all time, discipline, production, tolerance. Our national flag belongs to all of us. Our national coat of arms with our national birds inscribed therein is the sacred trust of all our citizens. So it is today. Please, I urge you, let it always be so. Let us always be able to say with the psalmist, behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Discipline, production, tolerance. These are our goals. Discipline both personal and collective greater production at all levels. Tolerance of the other's point of view or religion or social custom. That was the end. Uh, there's, there's more, right? Mm, there's more, but I'll end it here. As those is it came out to it was five five nine and nine so that's eighteen ten twenty eight it came out to twenty eight minutes in total the four parts put together and there was a lot of information to take in we see how much oil is valued in Trinidad sugar cane uh the day of independence. And I want you to comment down below what year did Trinidad and Tobago become independent? Hey, if you was paying attention, you wouldn't have to go back in the video and search for the year. You do it as, as soon as I said what year, you would have been writing it in the comments already. No need to go back into the video to look for the year unless you missed it. Or you wasn't paying attention. So yeah, that's the question for you. Write it down in the comments what year. Even though I already said it. Uh, that defeats the purpose if I already said it. Wait, no, I didn't say it. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. I thought I said it. I said it in my head, but it didn't come out. Yeah, so comment down below what year Trinidad and Tobago gain their independence. As for the currents roll and the bacon saltfish, oh that was a good breakfast. That that's just it makes my stomach feel happy. I'm not hungry no more and I had something good to eat. If you want to enjoy that, you could look it up and maybe you have like a Trinidad a Trinidadian shop in your area but if you're in new york go to allen's bakery yeah allen's bakery they have the best the best commercial and bacon selfish uh the link to i'll put 
I'll put the link to the videos in the in the description. But it, it, I don't know if I should put all the links or if I should just put maybe I could just link the playlist and you could watch the videos for yourself. That's what I do. But the link will be in the description. If you like this video, leave a like. Like if you smiled or learned something new, leave a like on the video. Also subscribe for more content like this or any other content you find enjoyable on this channel in the future. Okay, this is the end of the video. Peace.